Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indie Heads podcast. I am your host, Maddie, a.k.a. Recon IG. On uh, this week's podcast, we have no one. Well, we do have someone. Um, so originally, we were going to record an actual podcast today, but people are busy, and we can't really get times together, and also we kind of made some promises, so I kind of don't want to break those because people aren't showing up. I, I don't know. Essentially, uh, so last night, actually, um, I went to a concert. Uh, I went to go see the Frights. And after the show, or after their show, I got to interview two of the guys from the band, uh, Mark and Richard. And Richard you may recognize as he used to run the Here Wise music channel, which is sadly defunct now. And he sort of explains why he ended the channel a bit into this like little uh, interview of sorts, which is more of a conversation than an interview. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys, again, even if you're not a fan of this band, I definitely recommend you guys listen as they're, as uh, Mark and Richard are great guys and very entertaining. And we don't really talk about their music that much during this interview, just sort of about stuff about the tour life and a bunch of other random shit. Uh, so yeah, also sorry for some of the low quality of this uh, interview too, because I had to record outside the back of the venue. So you, you might hear the other band playing as they, uh, they're on tour right now with Swimmers. And so you might hear their music playing at times also. There's people who worked at the venue who are walking out at certain points, like to take out trash and whatnot. So, yeah, of course. But the lo-fi quality—that's what—that—that's what—that's what adds the charm. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this interview right about now. Yeah, freaking out. Very scary. From what yeah. we heard, that here in St. Louis, like criminals prey on bands, and they will like wait to see when like little bands like us are coming through and mm-hmm. steal all their gear. Oh yeah. yeah, I've heard about that. You like, heard that here too? Yeah. I'm trying to remember, there's a band, I'm trying to remember who got their stuff stolen here recently, like a few months ago. There's a pretty big, like, hardcore band, I don't know the name, but, like, who had a giant Kickstarter after their shit got stolen in St. Louis, and really? like, all these other bands were like, mm-hmm. yeah, us too. <laughs> yeah. I think, let's wild. see, I know there was one in, like, San Antonio, like, Lower Dens got their shit stolen recently. I, I heard about that, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, they recently got their, I mean, I think they had a fundraiser, hopefully they got their stuff back. Yeah. It's such a shitty it's thing. It's so bad. It's worst I feel, I feel fine here, this seems, like, pretty safe, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm on the lookout, all right? I'm the, I'm the expert on St. Louis here. I'm here to protect you. I re- again, like I said, we were wa- I was walking around with Richard earlier trying to find out, like, a goddamn coffee shop, and uh, we couldn't find <laughs> shit. One doesn't exist here. No, yeah. all, everything was closed. Yeah. Everything. We were like, what the fuck? Why is everything closed? It's like, what was it, like, 6.30? Not even. It was like... 6 o'clock. Actually, no, it was like 6 o'clock. Yeah. It was uh, 6 o'clock. We couldn't find anything. Like, because, again, the pawn shop was closed. We tried going to that. That was... We couldn't find a coffee shop. We tried like getting into like a record store that was closed. It was closed. It was, it was like Jacksonville. Jesus Christ! Don't even say that. Which, uh, like all the cool stuff is like far. It's like a bit like far from here. Like I feel like if you're gonna stay in St. Louis, like vintage vinyl is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, st- I think it's also I'm trying to remember what it's called. Union Square. Mm-hmm. They, oh. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of like. I swear cool it said they just they just drove like 15 minutes away by some college and they said it was like awesome. Like it was a really cool area. Oh yeah, so. like I said, this like the area is pretty like segregated. So like gotcha. mm-hmm. all the cool stuff is in like one area and all the cool stuff all the not cool stuff is in like this area yeah <laughs> I mean, except for you guys well, you guys are obviously cool right stuff. sure <laughs> yeah, i'll take that <laughs> oh god i'll be that'll be on my tombstone some someone said i was cool <laughs> it's, it was, it's, it was. <laughs> uh so let's see so you guys just got on your show great show by the way thank, thank you thank you let's see you guys played the song you're going to hate this and i think i was watching that commentary video you guys did and it was about two things mark's girlfriend and brian wilson was that right? Not my girlfriend, Mikey's girlfriend. Mike's girlfriend, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I got the name wrong. Oh, no, 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 no worries, no worries. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I'm not prepared. You know, I'm not professional. Well, like Mikey, you, Mikey wrote a song about my girlfriend that didn't exist at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Brian, wow. so Brian Wilson, okay, I gotta ask. Very important question. Pet sounds or smile? Smile. I almost said smile. And yeah, smile's not even like, it never was what he wanted it, so I gotta go with pet sounds. Yeah, it's hard. Know? I mean, although so smile hard. in its current oh, form, Oh. No, you guys uh, rock so hard that these guys fucking suck, and I'm leaving. Ooh, sorry. Well, thank you. Sorry, coming. but we're recording okay. a podcast right now. Oh, just, just don't say my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Catherine Cedar Jones. Yeah, exactly. I wish my boobs were that big. <laughs> she, she's like, hey, thank you guys so much. Hopefully, yeah. I'll see oh, you again wow. soon. You guys, you're, thank you. you are amazing. Oh, oh. Oh. Thank you. Awesome. 
Are you on? No, no. So as no. so as uh, they, these are people from uh, our friend. So yes, the Eris and Mister Me, Mister Robinson. They're in the radio program. They interviewed you guys earlier. That's right. Yeah. And so they're they're here before me. What? Uh, I'll, I'll censor it in editing, okay? <laughs> no, you I'll, won't. You're not for me. I'm the only other interviewer. I mean, again, this is for my podcast that, so, like, barely anyone listens to. Thank you, guys. It will someday. See you soon. <laughs> 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 Sorry for all the, all wow. the podcast listeners. Catherine Zeta Jones and <laughs> Dennis Leary incredible. in the flesh. I know, just crazy. walking down the street. We put them on the like. guest list, and I didn't think they'd come. Yeah. But they did. Show. <laughs> You're Dennis Leary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Right. Sweet. So, okay, Pet Sounds, Smile. Okay. You know. I'm going to defend Smile. I want to talk about Pet Sounds, but I want to defend Smile. Okay. So I, I think Smile. In, in, oh, sorry, I got distracted. I think Smile, although it's not like the definitive smile that was supposed to be mm-hmm. it's amazing still oh it's, yeah definitely it's amazing yeah, no one's gonna like deny that no 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 yeah, yeah definitely not. I think they, Pet Sounds and Smile exist in totally different universes yeah I can't really compare them they're both they both are number one in different races I mean, in terms of unreleased albums, like, Smile is obviously, like, number one. It's, like, even for, like, an incomplete album, it sounds like they could have probably, like, cut out the masters and put them out, like, whenever, like, oh, Brian Wilson did yeah. studio sessions. Yeah, it's incredible. Seriously. It's like, it's, like, Smile and then everything that Bowie might have done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Bowie, yeah, he had a lot less in the system. Like, he was, like, already recording some demos for a new album before, like, he died because... That's right, yeah. he didn't He didn't exactly know he was going to die just yet, but, like, he knew it was coming soon. He wanted to, like... Like, it, it's so weird. He like to the day he died, he was still like trying to create stuff, and that's oh, insane. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I, that record, Black Star, is uh, perfect. It's awesome. It's mm-hmm. so great. Uh, for, so some of our listeners don't know who maybe recognize this voice, Richard. Richard used to run a YouTube channel yep. that you guys all know called <laughs> <laughs> called Here Lies Music. <laughs> Of course, Here Lies Music is now Here Lies, Here Lies Music because the channel is dead. Oh! Rip in peace. Rip in peace, Here Lies Music. Do you want, That's it. I think for some, some of the listeners, of course, like, uh, we championed that channel so much. And, like, <laughs> as soon as I found it, I shared it with everyone. Like, you have to see this guy. He's fantastic. And I guess for some of the people who don't know, you ended the channel around, like, November, December. Sort of, like, with no real fanfare. You just kind of was like, I'm done. You know what? <laughs> Oh, here I go. Oh, no. Do you want to talk about how you were like, originally going to end the channel? Because you were, you were going to get us involved with it. Well, you know, I feel like a real schmuck because I had I had a cool like way to end it all. And now here I am just like revealing all my secrets like some like hack magician. <laughs> Why are you staring at me when you said that? Because I felt like you knew what I was saying. It's true. I don't know. I, well, who knows? Maybe it's not the end. Maybe maybe I'm taking a break. Yeah, I I needed a break. I you know that channel and listening to music as frequently as as you must to have a review channel. Mm-hmm. It um I don't I don't like the effects of it that that it has on you. I don't know. I I I, it, I started to listen to music differently in a way that I wasn't happy with, and. Uh, you need a break. You need a break. Yeah. I mean, as also someone who does, like, reviews on the side, it definitely, like, like, we guys were talking, I think, in an interview, like, a few weeks ago, you guys were talking about Kanye's new album, and, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. the first time I listened to it, I went to the theater showing of it, actually. Oh, no way. And, Wait, and you went to Madison Square Garden? No. God, oh. no. Oh, they, yeah. I'm not that rich, man. It was streamed. I don't have rich parents. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was in theater. Yeah, yeah I right. went to a theater, and I went to go see it, and I was like, man... I, that was a fucking mess, man. And then the album came out on title, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then, you know, I started, was like, I was getting ready to prepare for a review for it, and I'm like, oh, oh, uh, oh, c- c- Kanye, man, why, what's up with the flow on this, man? What's up, bleached assholes? What the fuck are you going on about? <laughs> so it was definitely like, I can definitely see that effect. It definitely makes me listen to music differently when I'm looking, like, at a critical lens where I'm just like, yeah, I don't enjoy this as much. Yeah, well, I, I was listening to a record, and the only thing on my mind while listening to it was, how can I shit on this? Because <laughs> you, you mentioned on the Fantano podcast where you're like having that thought, like if you were listening to podcasts or listening to albums, and you'd be like, you know, you you would make a funnier review if you just shit on it. Yeah, it's, it's true, and uh, I realized that even when I was shitting on records, I didn't actually dislike um, because I shat on them. I retroactively found myself disliking them. I was like, why? I wouldn't. I feel like I would like a lot of these records if I 
didn't uh, force myself to shit all over them. So, mm -hmm. don't trade off. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think, and you, were, you filmed the possibly one of the best videos he did, the depression cherry video. Oh, I did. You did that. Yeah, <laughs> I did that. I forgot. The I forgot Zoom I did that. Shit. that was like, that was one of my favorite videos because it was like, at the time, I didn't like the record. I mean, I thought it was all right, but, you know. I still didn't like it, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I, for, for what it, like, it's like, it's okay, but like, it doesn't do anything that interests me whatsoever. Right. He shows again, like, this being when you, it's like, that. thank you for that review because that's exactly what I was like trying to say was like, this is just so like, formulaic because like i love team dream i think team dream <laughs> i think team dream is amazing i think team dream is like an amazing album yeah. for what it is because it's like they go outside their formula a little bit they add some extra instrumentation there's different song structures and now like the, the last two albums they did it's just like back to drum machines and uh some guitars maybe it's like where's yeah yeah and they're both i mean virtually identical the 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 newest two records yeah, it's kind of yeah. back to back. Like and neither of them. It's like they've gone like a slow regression. Where like Teen Dream was like, okay, wow, they're making a real progression. Bloom was like, okay, it was definitely not as expansive as you know Teen Dream, but still like pretty expansive compared to you know their first two albums. And then George and Cherry was like, oh, this is kind of going back to basics, except for maybe like Sparks. Uh -huh. Do oh, 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 you guys hear swimmers listening? A little bit of swimmers in the background. A little the door opening and shutting. <laughs> <coughs> and it, so yeah, and it was like okay, and then Thank You Lucky Stars was like, this is just the first album. They literally just made their first album again, mm -hmm. and it's like I don't, I just can't get why a band would like regret. Like I get like going back to your basic sound, but like there's been a clear regression in sound. Mm -hmm. It's not like oh they make this one album where they go back to basics and then okay it's all over the place. It's like no, it's like clearly like uh oh yeah, it's underwhelming. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, so anyways, what music have you guys been listening to like recently on this tour? Has there any been like big band that you guys play in the in the van? Um, it's it's not really because whoever's driving has control of the car audio, and then everyone else usually just puts their headphones on. So yeah. <laughs> there's not really like a community listening within our band, at least not now. Yeah, the closest thing we have is back to actually the new Kanye. But like besides that, because every, everyone's heard it like a million times yeah. by this point. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, besides that, yeah, we pretty much have just been playing our own stuff mm -hmm. by ourselves. Is there anything, what's the stuff you've been playing? Um, there's a good, uh, oh, I like the new Mother's record, actually. It's getting a lot of, like, blog attention. It's really, um, I think it's like Waxahachie, but better. Um, I think they're I think they're really really cool. Their audio tree session is incredible, and you gotta watch that. Um, check it out. Yeah, no, they're yeah, they're I really amazing. like that record too. Yeah, I like that. I like. I'm trying to think of like new stuff. Um, the new uh, there's a band out of I think um, New York or Boston called uh, Two Inch Astronaut, and they just put out a record, and it's very pop punky, which I didn't expect, and mm -hmm. it's really really catchy, and they're they've got great voices. So that's what I've been listening to lately. I don't know yeah. what you've been uh, doing. I it, it's it, it's kind of cool because we're going to a lot of cities that I've never been to before, and mm -hmm. like every time we go into a new city, I, I like to look up on my phone like what bands came out of this area, and so I, I've I've been like going back and listening to bands now that I know where they came from and what their home looks like and stuff. So like, yeah. we went to New York, and that was my first time ever being there, and now all I want to do is listen to the Talking Heads and Sonic, <laughs> yeah. Sonic Youth and you know Suicide and shit. And yeah, it I don't know I I. I I'm like appreciating that music a whole lot more now that I kind of have an idea of like what things looked like from their point yeah. of view and well, stuff. David Byrne like, drove down this street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly though, it's yeah. like, oh damn, like I have a new appreciation for this now. Totally. And we play with a band in New York called Slonk Donkerson, which <laughs> yeah. a terrible name. It's but a great no, 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 name. They were really good. They were like one they of the best awesome. bands I've uh, we've played with. I mean, Seriously. I like really loved them, and they were like the quintessential New York band. Like they sounded like New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that's were gotten me back into like really interesting New York's shit, real <laughs> shit. Yeah. But other than that, uh, I really like the new Baroness album, actually. Yeah, you t you told me it was really good, and someone in Canada told me it was really good. So yeah. I've got to check that out. Yeah. There's a song on it called Quarrying and Wine that I have been listening to like every day. So like nice. a really not a good combination. I I mean, unless you want to commit suicide, not a good combination. <laughs> no, true. I mean, yeah. with that with that band out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think as I, you know, I used to be a swimmer, so like chlorine and wine, it's it does nothing. I'm used to chlorine; it was on my skin all the time as a kid. I probably have built up like a resistance. Were to you it. a swimmer? Or did you just like being well, I was in a, chlorine? And no, I, I was a, I was a swimmer, and I also did like diving, and like quit like a few years ago because oh. I just I, I I just started to hate it, and also I just sucked at it at some point. Uh. 
It's like with Beach House, where it's like, you start off like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, and then, oh, uh, and as they get older, like, oh, oh, yeah. you, you're getting more scared to do these dives. Oh, no, you can't do a double front flip anymore. Yeah. Oh, no, you can barely do a one and a half, and then I was just like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> have you ever seen Beach House live? No, I, f- I guess some people from the podcast have, definitely. You know, there's one thing that I got to say about them, because the one time I saw them, it was at um, FYF, which is a festival in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. yeah, if you guys know what that is, um, and they played at Sunset, and they are like one of the best sunset bands I've ever seen. Well, I think it, it would be great perfect. live. Like, it, would, no, like it was just loud, and it would, like, it was, the whole place was flat and just beautiful. It was really nice. Yeah, I, was I didn't awesome. watch the set, but I watched some of it from afar, and yeah. I was like, wow, this, this is really nice. Yeah. It just... When you can when you can make music like that and crank it up to, like, 11, like, on the new record, it's just, like, people are gonna watch it, pay attention, because it's good live, but mm-hmm. maybe on, on the last record, like you were saying, it just doesn't work. It's just, it's just very formulaic, and, like... It's like, I know you guys can do better than this. I've heard you guys do better than this. Like, I don't know what head, like, creative headspace you're in where you're just like, let's go back to our old sound. It's like, you guys, like, just a few years ago, you were, like, really making some progress. And it's like, Watch out. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> See, oh yeah, if you guys, we're recording this little fire, we're recording this in the back of uh, the venue where you guys yeah. play at the Firebird. In the alley. And we had uh, some friends pop up, and now uh, <laughs> someone works at the venue is here. I'm glad you think Jones and Dennis Lear are our friends. So. I know, I think, I think they're sitting outside, I think they're just watching us. Oh yeah, they're, they're hanging out, they're we're, gonna, we're gonna go party with them later on. Oh yeah. yeah. You guys are going like, straight to Hannibal though, after this, right? Yes sir, going straight to Hannibal, Missouri. Oh, that's the real place. Hannibal <laughs> is the real place. It's where Mark Twain was born, where a lot of the stories took place. Oh, yeah, we're, like right across from there, are we? Yeah, we're staying in his home. Yeah. Wait. In his house. Oh. In his house or like across the street? We're staying in the room that he was born in. Yeah. <laughs> in Hannibal. We're staying in his crib. Uh-huh. All of us. And you, the, the stains are still there, apparently. True. Uh, <laughs> the blood stains <laughs> of all the, uh, oh, should I press the button? What would you press? A level. Output level, we're good. We're okay, chilling. we're good. Okay, see, Richard's holding the recorder right now that yeah. I have because I interviewed him earlier for my radio show thing. It's only college. fair that I hold it this time. Yeah, okay. it's got. I, mean, uh, I want to talk about radio station a little bit. I, I God, I, I'll just be straight up and say it's not very good. Hey, it, hey, it, dude. And because I'm on the podcast, I can say this because I know no one's fucking listening that works in the radio station. <laughs> Hopefully, if you're listening to this, hey. Uh, this is this is a secure this is a satirical podcast. Nothing I say is nah, real. He means okay. that shit. <laughs> no, he opened up to me earlier. He said yeah. my school and their radio station. Goddamn, I just wish. I, I just wish I'd be anywhere other than there. Okay, <laughs> but no, the, the, like the, the equipment and whatnot, like how they teach you how to use the stuff, is like great. Like it's super professional. Like if I want to go to a radio, no, it's backpedaling. But r- really, earlier people. Dude, okay, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta build whoa, some whoa, context. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, that a, is that a tattoo that says "I hate my radio station"? <laughs> oh wow, that's Dude. that's pretty well done actually. That's big. I mean, tramp stamps are in vogue, I guess, for some people now. I'm being ganged up on. Help me, <laughs> hey, listeners. Help Captain me. Captain Zeta's dumb things. <laughs> but no, the music we just play, it's like it's modern alternative, and you know, it stinks. Like Mumford and Sons, Pank of the Disco. Fucking Coldplay. Why the fuck are we playing Coldplay? I they're pop. They're pop music. Coldplay is, is an enigma. Speaking of Panic at the Disco, though, not to cut you off, but uh, we just saw on TV a couple nights ago Panic at the Cisco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're on Kimmel. It was Panic at the Disco and Cisco, <laughs> and they played Thong Song. It was terrible. I, I had no words. I still don't. It was so bad. <laughs> Anyways, and I, I just think just Brent Yuri, I mean, he should have just you know stuck back and let Cisco you know handle the song. I mean, doing it yeah. in duet style. See, Cisco, Cisco is an enigma. He needs to be by himself. You just leave him on stage, have like one light on him, and let the beat play in the background. That's cool. That's exactly how a Cisco show should be. He should be wearing a thong too. Yeah. That has nothing to do with the song. Just he should be wearing a thong. Exactly. And of course, the only song he's gonna play is thong song. He's gonna play it ten times in a row. Mm-hmm. Okay. And by the time the tenth time, everyone's gonna get sick of it and they're gonna leave. But no, he's gonna lock the doors. He's gonna go fucking full on carry style and just like watch Cube and burn everyone. He's gonna have like force powers and shit. Wow, put That's all true. that on his writer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all, all on his writer. Again, he just needs, again, he just needs, you know, uh, what was it like the Jack White? There was like some, I think it was Molly Crew, where they would just ask, like, we don't want, like, brown M&Ms, or they oh, took okay. yeah. was That's weird That's that you brought that up, story, because yeah. I was thinking about that in the bathroom earlier today. I, I was literally thinking about that exact thing. The reason why they did that was, like, so they make sure the equipment was good. Yeah, exactly. Because they had, like, a certain stage set up, and, like, I think the concert venue or whatever, like, fucked up, and, like, all their shit, like, it just cost, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, okay, this is either going to cost, like, thousands of dollars of damage or hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage. Yeah. It was like, okay, we'll take the thousands of dollars. (laughs) Yeah. 
just as an effort to get them to, to read the actual oh, like, yeah. technical yeah. stuff. That's and all my favorite, like, rock urban legends. Yeah. And then there was Jack White, who, was, like, who asked yeah. that everyone make, like, a certain special, like, I think it was... Was it Guac? Yeah. yeah, it was guacamole recipe. <laughs> Which I think he had a denial. was like, oh, no, this is not the case. And it's like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure... <laughs> He's like, he tried to deny it. Was like, I think he tried saying like the excuse, like, oh, this is so about me putting on something and whatnot. But, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Jack, 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 the only thing on this whole form is the guacamole recipe. But make sure the amps are good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So you guys have been touring for like close to a month and a half. Month? Is yeah. Over a month now. So like, like a month and a week. Is there any crazy? Is there any crazy tour stories you have? Did you hook up with any hot broads in the hotel room? Jeez, I wish, man. Uh, no, we're like we're pretty tame. We, yeah, we play our show. We go to the hotel. We each sit on our own computers with our own headphones. We go to bed and we wake up. And we yeah. do it all over again. So sometimes we see stuff, but like we're never happens, causing yeah. it. Like I, we witness things. Right. Yeah. Um. I think yesterday I think. was the when you were driving around. Like, yeah. Well, yesterday was kind of we were in Chicago yesterday. It was St. Patrick's Day, and uh, I got out of the venue to pull our van around to the back to load out and as I was trying to do that I heard some commotion going on in the street and someone yelling they're like hey I, I looked and there's a guy trying to parallel park and he's blocking a whole lane of traffic and the guy closest to the man trying to parallel park leans out of the window with a with an open bottle of fireball <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and he goes we're we're trying to drive dude and I was like oh God, dude, Chicago's. Chicago is it. Chicago's, Chicago's crazy. lit. Yeah. It is oh my fucking God. crazy. I'm going, let's see, I'm going back there. I'm going in April for like some journalism thing, and I'm going in July for the Pitchfork Festival. Yeah. There's some podcast members, which, by the way, if you're going to Pitchfork, if you're listening to this, please hit us up, me us up. Uh, don't fuck us up, please. We're very small and fragile. <laughs> but yeah. Hit I'm, us up, I'm, meet us up, don't fuck us up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited. Like, is there, let's see, what was the best, like, we're, since we're talking about concerts, you guys great concert. Besides your guys' own concerts, what's been like your favorite concert you've been to? <laughs> My favorite concert is nowhere near anything we played. Yeah, <laughs> let's get that out of the way. Let's uh, uh, remove us from the entire equation. Uh, man, uh, I've, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of real good shows. Yeah, I think it's so hard to do. Can we narrow it down to like last year? I saw I, I saw Diarrhea Planet four times last year. Oh I think God. each one was better than the last. <laughs> <laughs> I, that band is the best live band working today. I don't think there's anyone close. I'm going to see them again in on, in April. I bought them my tickets. Oh, wow. Nice. They're great. Um, I still haven't seen them. Didn't oh I, I'm with Ryan that was a, you yeah, got why are you taking I got to the next I concert I got two months. tickets yeah what day uh the day after we get back the 11th yeah that's my off day I, I leave I fly out the next day I thought you had like three days anyway no, uh, sorry we'll work this out you fly we'll out, where, out. Where, where, where are you flying out to man I'm taking a vacation taking a vacation <laughs> yep I'm going to St Louis coming back yep. Mm. Gonna That's get, right. Using all that tour money, tour money to get on vacation. Yep, I'm gonna yeah, come seven dollars right, right here back to uh, <laughs> Firebird. I'm gonna have myself a good time. He's gonna lounge out in the middle, like you could just sneak into the venue, and then you know you're just sitting like a lounge chair and some shit, and like the venue people are like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Well, I'm, I'm vacationing. <laughs> <laughs> I told you already. Oh, you yeah. know, I, I, I look forward to it. So you guys have been digging St. Louis so far, besides the fact that there's nothing fucking here in this area where you're yeah, at right uh, now. Yeah, you know, besides that, it's got all the rain I ever wanted. Um, Sucks it's such a shitty day to come here. Yeah. If you came here like two days ago, it was so pretty. That's what you heard. That's yeah. all right. Because it, it's just like the Midwest weather. It, we get the worst of everything. Summers are fucking hot. Winters are fucking cold and there's snow. Spring, I don't... Spring's a good, a good season. <laughs> Spring's actually all right. Spring's a fuck you, season. fuck you. Spring, Spring, you're cool. <laughs> Spring, I give you like a decent to strong A, you know. Uh, so, yeah, but we get the worst of everything. It's just extremes. Yeah, it's just extremes. I don't know why. We're in the middle of fucking, we're in the, it's because we're in the middle. Because New York is fucking cold all the time, probably. California, you get like 70s and 90s all the time. Mm -hmm. Us, we're just like, tornado? Yeah, come on in. <laughs> we outran a tornado. That was kind of a crazy thing. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Not like no, seeing it, it in the rear view mirror. Hot on our tail. Oh, I mean, yep. It was <laughs> picking us picking us up by the rear axle. <laughs> yeah. And we just Good powered through it. Yeah. Front wheel drive. Crazy. You gotta remake the 1996 classic Twister. Twister, yeah. That's a great one. Oh, rest in peace, oh Philip Seymour Hoffman, though. Oh, yeah, it was him and... Uh, 
Not John Cusack. Who, who no, John was, Cusack played the Bill twister. Paxton. John Cusack has yeah. the twister. John Lovitz as the twister. <laughs> <laughs> Red Snyder stars as the twister. <laughs> Good movie. Great movie. Anyways. Um, yeah. yeah, that was, that was uh, we barely, we were driving from like New Orleans to Florida. Okay, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna check the recorder and see if it's still working. Oh, oh yeah, I've been checking periodically. Yeah. Do you keep holding it? What? Do you want me to keep holding it? Yeah, we'll keep rolling. I can, oh, do you want me to hold keep it? holding it? Oh, yeah, you can keep holding it if you want to. I don't care. No, no worries. So, Richard, you're, you're my bitch, Richard, okay? You're gonna hold that fucking recorder, bro. I'm gonna do the best job. All right. <laughs> Great. On this location. <laughs> so, yeah, tour life has been pretty fucking boring. Pretty much. <laughs> well, is that hey, is that is that hey. like besides oh. playing shows and whatnot? It's just like being on the road. I imagine like things. There's, some, you know, yeah, there've been a few nights where like you know, we we have fun. I guess I'm demystifying it a little yeah. bit. It's I'm really not just saying like cool. it's not like you know when you think of con- concert and touring, you think of like bands like fucking up hotel rooms. But like apparently, if you guys oh, are we just do that. Like, oh, hey, whoa! <laughs> there are some girls I think who are waving to us. Oh really? Oh whatever. Oh. They're waving. Whoops. I was dancing next to them, I think, and they were like getting into it. They're one girl, she like, I think during your guys' last song, she's ran to like the mosh pit. <laughs> See, I would have ran in the mosh pit too, but I had that recorder and a bunch of other shit oh, that man. I'm like, I don't want this. I do. This is very valuable. Absolutely. It's like 10 years old. Oof. But my no radio, mosh pit is worth that. But my station manager would kill me if I broke it. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, tour. It's not glamorous, but it's it's also not boring. I mean, oh. like I said earlier, we're going to all these awesome cities. Never played in before. Oh, Some yeah. of us have never even been to. You know, we're seeing, yeah. meeting people. You know, people are coming to the shows, which is r- ridiculous. It's, that anybody comes to any show, we can't overstate how crazy it is. <laughs> like, we're just playing in St. Louis. Because we were, we're walking up. around, and I told you that at least like <laughs> I think like ninety three people had like pre sale tickets. It was like eighty seven or ninety three. Yeah, a little over like, eighty. Yeah. And then at the door, I think they are a little over hundred, which is absurd because we yeah. are so far from our home, mm-hmm. and of course, you know, we had no expectations for any of it, so it's just. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. When someone says, like, at the end, like, so how was tour? I'm going to say something along the lines of best time of my life. You know? Yeah. Like, it's just doing, the act of doing this mm-hmm. is a party. But it's just it's so amazing. fun to complain about it in the moment. Oh, it's so yeah. much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun to bitch. Yeah. Because I, so I know you would say you miss you had a girlfriend. Do you miss her? Oh, yeah, I do. Definitely. I think like that'd be the worst part of tour life is just being, like, away from everyone. There's, yeah. a, certain, there's a certain time frame where you're like, yeah, I'm away from everyone. And then, like, you hit that spot where you're like, damn, I want to go home. Yeah, for it's, me that's like less than a week. Yeah, dude, it, it's it's like I'm constantly writing that line of like, man, this is the best time of my life, and I don't want to be anywhere but home right now. Yeah. <laughs> like every every minute, it, it flips back and forth. But I don't know, it, it's all it's worth it. We're having the time of our lives. I mean, this is only like a two and a half month tour, too. Right? Yeah, it's so only two and a half months. months. Which is like I can't imagine mainly like going tour for like months on end. It's like I don't. How do you do it? Like. Yeah. Like, you know, things like the National. Like, how the fuck do you... Like, that dude has a well, family. The thing about it, though, is when you get to a certain level, you have a tour bus, and you play your show, and then a higher driver drives you to the next city overnight, mm-hmm. and you wake up, and you have the whole day to check out a new yeah. city. Mm-hmm. And it's you guys don't have that luxury. Such, no, we have to drive ourselves. And, yeah. like, t- tonight after the show is over, we're driving to Hannibal, which is only a couple hours, but we've done yeah. worse. And we're not complaining about it, but, like... I mean, it's fun to complain about. I mean, yeah, it's like, again, I don't think there's like any right to, like, it's bad to complain about, like, driving. Because driving long distance, it just, it sucks. Yeah, it just is what it is. Or yeah. just even not even driving, just being, like, as I went, like, let's see. Like, I drove to Florida, like, a few years ago with, like, my family, and, like, 13 hour trip, it's fucking hell. Yeah. Being in, in a car with your family for 13 hours, you want to die. Yeah. You just want to die. It's and that's just, a car, too. Right? That's a car. It's like, yeah, it's a car. It's like, like a minivan, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. just terrible. Uh, but it has its moments. We see, see some cool stuff. We see good views, cool skylines. We saw a cat get hit by a truck. Oh, no. That was that wasn't a cool. That wasn't a cool thing, but it's it one of those things we would have never seen at home. <laughs> it's true. You were talking about like uh, the arch earlier, like like basically your equipment was like fucking up, and like you were trying to entertain yeah. the crowd in between. The arch. We found out how much how much it cost to make. Yeah, it's like 180 million dollars. <sighs> Which, Which again, adjusting for inflation, it's 180. Right. So it's 13. And that was like, 13 you, you dollars. Gra- <laughs> 13 dollars. 13 dollars. <laughs> so again, man, inflation's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn. Why? And you and you were so surprised. Like, can you go inside it? I didn't know. Well, cause I I, <laughs> I should have told you that. I should have told you that. I forgot to tell you that. Oh yeah, you can go up to the top and like view everything. Yeah. Well, it's I. Crazy. That's the first time I've ever seen it in person, and it just looks like a big brick structure 
<laughs> it's like, like steel and whatnot. It, yeah, I imagine it's not actually brick, but I just can't. I don't know. The 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 the, the degree. How, <laughs> how do you even fit it like a staircase? Is it a staircase? It's, no, it's like an elevator. It's like that brings you up. But like, aren't you? How do you remain upright the entire time? I, they don't. Again, I don't fucking know. I don't. I'm not an engineer, <laughs> Richard. I don't I, know. Well, they somehow on. made it work, and it's like it's cool because I've only been up there like once, and it's like it's still like crazy. There's like not even a window. He goes, all right, <laughs> we're at the top there, now. There is a window. It, it <laughs> Trust is, us. It is crazy because you see like Bush Stadium and whatnot. And it's That's like, actually really cool. Yeah. It's like I don't know how or why, but this thing exists, even though it's a, like almost a complete waste of money. <laughs> it, it's just it's like okay, you have to, like St. Louis. It has to have a thing that like people know. About. Yeah, yeah, it's the gateway. Right? It's the gateway right. to the mid, the west. I think yeah, that's what apparently. someone said in the yeah. crowd. Huh. I mean, it's a sight to behold. It's really, really big. I like, I like big shit. So, <laughs> I like my girls thick. Like thick <laughs> that's the thick ass arch up there. <laughs> Something's over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see, do you want to wrap things up real quick? Or sure. Let's see, so where can people uh, find your music for the listeners? Uh, anywhere you look. You look on Spotify, iTunes, yep. Ardio. Sia.bandcamp.com. Sia. Yeah, Apple Music. Ardio's dead. Uh, Ardio's dead? Well, shit, they didn't tell oh. us. Yep. Yeah, it got, it got, again, Pandora bottom. And, oh, well, know. we're on Pandora, too, yep. so <laughs> check that out. Thefrights.com uh, for your tour. Thefrights.com, yep. Bandcamp.com. Uh, Google. Google it. Sure. Uh, Napster. Napster, uh, Kickass Torrents, yeah. like <laughs> all over. Yeah, well, anywhere you look. Record stores. I forget we have yeah. records in record stores. Yeah, you, you can find it. It's not hard so to yeah, find. Definitely go out to one of their shows. Their shows are great. I had a fantastic time. I was, Thanks. I was jamming. You guys are really, you guys got you're really into it. <laughs> like, you know, it was it was just so, it's it's so weird because I've never, uh, this is like my fourth concert I've ever been to. Oh no way. Yeah, like I said, I have strict parents. They they're. They're lame about me going to concerts. Like, okay. no, you're not driving out to St. Louis. It's dangerous there. Understandable. And which, again, I, I'm like, nah. And then, you know, I drive here. I'm like, okay, I kind of see why yeah. mom wants to drive me out here. <laughs> it is like, uh. There's like vultures. Ah! Right. I almost got hit by a van. Like, there was some van trying to merge. And, like, I like I had to sort to the left, like, a little bit. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to hit this car. I mean, either this that car going to hit me or I'm hitting this car. <laughs> that might have been me, honestly. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, 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 it was not your van. Trust me. Okay. It, was, it was like some, like, probably some soccer mom minivan. It was like blue. Huh. Right. Gotta, gotta get the girls to to practice. All right. So any, okay. So you guys have any closing statements? Like, is there any is there any music you guys want people to check out besides your own? Mm. Uh, mm. Let me think. Who should, who <laughs> should we <laughs> encourage people to give money to other bands? Yeah. If you want to tell anyone to vote for a certain person for president? You know, uh, you know, uh, want to make the official price endorsement for Donald Trump for president? <laughs> Gary Johnson. <laughs> Gary Johnson. I took Is he a, running this year? Yeah, I still is. I guess. Apparently, yeah, I took a quiz. I think he was like, I think he's like, it was like, it recently announced he was like the CEO, of like CEO of like some marijuana company. Oh, Whoa. Sick. Hmm. Huh. Good for him. Yeah, good for that guy. It makes we're, we're all pretty split politically, be, so no, it no. makes total sense for a libertarian to host, like to own like a fucking marijuana company. <laughs> yeah, dude. it makes so much. Sense. It's, it's, it's so cliche. Yeah. It's like a not, it's like the like r slash not the onion. It's like right. you you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for yeah. doing this interview with me. And great show. If you guys are like, and for any of our listeners, if you're in the area, go listen or go watch these guys. They're great. And yeah, thank you very uh -huh. much. Thank you. Thanks.